So though I am not much for New Year's resolutions, I do like some good goals. So that's exactly what I'm here to do today, share with you guys my 2016 reading goals. Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a great week. It is the week after Christmas, which is always very sad for me because I love Christmas so much. But that's okay, it also means it's the start of a brand new year, which means new goals and things of that nature. So as I said in the intro, not much for New Year's resolutions because I'm the type of person that's like, if you're gonna change something, you might as well change it when you wanna change it instead of waiting for like the first of the year. Just me personally, I'm just not much for New Year's resolutions, but I do like setting certain goals for myself for the year. And so I have come up with some reading goals for 2016. These are related to both books as well as my channel and I'm going to share them with you guys. So my first reading goal for 2016 is to read at least one classic a month. I did not read as many classics last year as I would have liked. I do like reading classics a lot and I've read a lot of classics or quite a few classics in my time. Not as many as I would have liked and there's still a lot that I want to get to. So my goal for 2016 is to read at least a minimum of one classic a month. Goal number two is to read six nonfiction books in 2016. I only read one last year and I had the goal last year of wanting to read more. It never happened and I figure that six is very much achievable. I can read one every two months, kind of spread one book over the course of two months because I like to read a regular fiction book with a work of nonfiction. I can't just read straight nonfiction because I will lose interest. Though I may be finding the topic interesting, I do have like a short attention span with that kind of a thing. I don't know, maybe it brings me back to school or something. I have no idea. But I do find them interesting and I actually have a couple on my shelf that I want to get to, including the Middle Ages, Everyday Life in Medieval Europe that I want to get to. I got this last year for Christmas and I meant to read it last year and it never happened. So I want to read this one. As I said, I want to read at least six nonfiction books in 2016, about one every two months or so. My third goal is to read four Charles Dickens books next year. I was actually hoping to read all of his works last year. It didn't happen. I ended up realizing that though I love Charles Dickens, I cannot read his books one after the other. I like Charles Dickens a lot. He's one of my favorite classic authors, but I like him in smaller doses so I don't kind of get burnt out on his stuff. So I want to try to read at least four of his books that I've been wanting to get to in this new year, and I have those Four picked out. The first one is The Mystery of Edwin Drood. Book two would be Little Dorrit. Book three is David Copperfield and book four is The Old Curiosity Shop. These are four that I've been wanting to get to for a while and even though The Mystery of Edwin Drood is unfinished I'm still very curious about the story since I believe it was the one that he was writing when he passed. So very excited to read these four and it will hopefully happen. As No it's not going to hopefully happen. It's going to happen in 2016. Goal number four is the same as last year and that is to read 100 books in 2016. I don't take my Goodreads challenge very seriously. I just think it's kind of a fun way to challenge myself to read a lot of books. I, if I don't make it, I'm not heartbroken. Like I think I'm currently at 85 books for 2015. I know I'm not going to get to uh, 100 at all, but I'm okay with that. I just find it to be fun. It's fun if I get to that goal, if I get to that 100 books, I can be like, woo, I did it. And if I didn't, I'm like, cool, I still read. So I don't take it completely seriously, but I think it's just a fun way to challenge yourself more. So I'm going to keep my 2016 Goodreads reading goal at 100 books. My fifth reading goal for 2016 is to do more rereads. There are several series that I want to reread read this year that I have been wanting to reread for a while. The first one is going to be the Anne series, Anna Green Gables series. It's been years since I've reread that series. I got the box set for Christmas, which was my Christmas book haul, which will be linked somewhere here in case you guys want to check that out. So I finally have my own box set of all the books and I want to reread the whole series because I love that series and it's been far, far too long. I want to finish rereading the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I started the fellowship in 2015 this year and I didn't end up reading much more than about 50 pages. I got sidetracked with other books and things. So I want to finish rereading the trilogy. I want to reread Harry Potter and I also want to reread Persuasion and Emma, two of my favorite Jane Austen novels. And I don't know, I might throw in a couple more rereads in there somewhere because I do really enjoy rereading. I always pick up on much more than I did the first time when I reread. So I definitely want to do more rereads in 2016. But these series and these books are definitely the ones I want to get to in the new year. My next reading goal is to finish all of my unfinished series. And by unfinished series, I mean series that are completely finished. All of the books are out, not series that are unfinished because the author is still writing the books. I want to finish the series where they are complete. So I, I think I have maybe 10 or so. I did a video in 
earlier this month on my unfinished series. So all of those I want to finish in the new year. And a lot of those series only had like one book left. So I think this is a pretty attainable goal. I'm sure I will still have leftover series next year, but that's okay. That's, that's how it rolls when you're a reader. My next reading goal is to read more diversely in 2016. I don't think I read very diversely last year. I want to read more diversely in 2016. So I want to read more books from people of color, more books written by people from a queer background and things of that nature. And I found a really great site. It's called We Need Diverse Books org which I'll link down below and they have a bunch of different recommendations for reading diverse books, a bunch of different authors. If you like this book you might like this book, things like that. So I'm going to use their site to kind of help to drive me to read more diversely and be more proactive about searching for diverse books in 2016. So if you guys have any recommendations for diverse books I would love to hear it down in the comments below because it's one of the things I love about being a reader is that you get a different perspective by reading books written by people from different backgrounds from yourself. So it's something I really want to be more proactive about doing in 2016. So my last few goals are actually channel related. So I have a few goals for my channel in 2016 as well. The first one is to do more book reviews. I did quite a few. I did more in 2015 than I did in 2014, but I want to do even more in 2016. So I'm going to try and do at least two a month. If not, at least make sure I do one a month, but I definitely want to try and do two book reviews a month. On my channel, I also want to do more discussion videos. I find them to be really fun. I like to interact with people in the comments on whatever discussion topic I am broaching and kind of see what you guys think about that discussion that I am bringing up. So if you guys have any recommendations on a good discussion video, please let me know down in the comments because I'm always looking for good topics for a discussion video. So let me know if you have anything you'd like to see me film. And my last goal is I want to branch out more on my channel in 2016. So I will definitely still be doing booktube and doing book things, but I kind of wanted to branch into other areas of my interest, such as video games and classic films and TV shows and maybe some beauty stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I just kind of want to do some more videos outside of my normal thing that I do. So if you guys have anything you would like to see me do, please let me know down in the comments because I'm always open to any kind of video suggestions. So if there's any videos you guys would like to see me do in the new year, whether they are book related or not, just let me know down in the comments and I will definitely add it to my video idea list. I have a little notebook full of ideas and stuff for filming and my notes and things. So just let me know down in the comments because you know you guys are watching my channel and so of course I want your input to see what kind of videos you guys would like to see me do. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Video. Those are my 2016 reading and YouTube goals. Those are the things I would like to obtain in the new year and work towards. You'll also let me know if you have any goals and if you have any other input about my goals, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy reading and have a happy new year. Bye! Mm -hmm.